Three months into our NATO membership, I'd say Sweden is stronger and safer and the alliance is also stronger with us as an ally, especially here in, the, in Northern Europe. This is a very long tradition. Today we call it agile combat deployment or dispersed ops. For us, I call it normal operations. We started in the, the 60s to design the system. Uh, you must remember Sweden, non-allied country, neighbor to Soviet Union, we have always perceived the threat from the East that we have to be able to leave our Air Force bases very rapidly. So, and this is a part of that. So I'd say it's a part of our DNA. I think Sweden is uh, punching above our weight uh, when it comes to many things. Uh, and we have long tradition of uh, domestic uh, arms manufacturing in all arenas or domains, but, but especially, of course, when we talk Air Force here, it's a fighter tradition. We, we started to build our own fighters during World War II, and we have continued ever since. Uh, then, of course, a grip and fighter of today is a multinational corporation. There are many uh, different subsystems from many different countries, but this design is Swedish, and some of the key uh, elements of the fighter is Swedish. Uh, some of the design features that we can see here when the taxi behind me on the runway designed for 800 meters runway length and designed to be handled by conscripts in the field. You're quite vulnerable at a main airbase if you get a uh, cruise missile attack or whatever you see in Ukraine. Uh, you know the whole base can be destroyed. There is no way to, uh, to lift off with your aircraft or land and refuel and so on. So. With this system, you have like multiple small road trip all over the country, so we can just drop down uh, at one that is active. So it's good for uh, survivability in, in wartime, I would say. Since it's uh, a lot shorter and uh, uh, narrower, you, you have to be more careful where to point your nose, of course. Uh, and you don't have that much uh, margin in case anything goes wrong you know since this is not uh, anything we do every day we have a painted kind of this runway on the main runway so we train there uh, every day and so but uh, now it's for real of course you have uh, uh, another extra punch on your on your heart of course but it feels good to be a part of, of nato and it feels like you're backed up with a lot of resources and we can also uh, back up nato with our resources our country and those kind of airstrips well, the biggest advantage of using uh, highway landing uh, strips is that you could have more, more uh, possibilities and you could move around to more uh, takeoff and landing uh, surfaces.